Wipeout 2 is the sequel to the previous game, without the 2 of course. It's a video game version of the popular game show that airs on ABC. It has contestants battle it out on time trials of obstacle courses while being surrounded by water for a grand prize of $50,000. There are two editions of Wipeout, a summer edition and a winter one. The looks of the courses change depending on the one you're playing in. And this game is no different. In the summer version everything looks bright and sunny, but in the winter version everything looks colder and more, I don't know, wintry. That's a word, right? It looks like something you know that Santa might have in his backyard. And who knows, maybe it is because Santa is playable in this game. So maybe that's where this whole thing is being filmed. Maybe. The game is hosted by John Anderson and the zombie corpse of John Henson. I mean, look at him compared to the other host. John Henson looks downright scary. John Henson like Wipeout. He also want to eat Anderson's brains. Brains. The TV show in this game has four parts to it. The qualifier round, the elimination round, the final four, and finally the wipeout zone. I think they could have just cut out the elimination round without any problems since nobody really gets eliminated. While the first game tried to replicate the TV show, this one didn't even try and bother. The looks and the rules of the game are very similar from what I remember. However, the way you control the character is just downright ridiculous. You can see your character has the crazy ability to jump up really high. It's like the creators totally forgot they were making a TV show adaption and said, you know what would be cool? If the player could just jump over obstacles because that's what I would do in the game often. Even Santa, as jolly as he was, was jumping like he saw a donut in the sky. The game was also a little glitchy. There were times when the announcer's lines would repeat or the game would contradict itself. We're here with, oh, um, ugh, I can't read the name. So let's just say contestant number one, shall we? Hey guys, Santa Claus is here and ready to go. If he wins today, he's buying a new sleigh. Ready to play? Or even the camera might follow the computer player to the detriment of my character, since I had no idea what was happening with my character because the camera was with the NPC. Speaking of the camera, it was just awful at times. It would give you the most awkward angles to work with. Seriously, who in the programming department thought this was a good camera angle to play the game in? The physics on the character were also a little wonky. When you were on the big balls, you could change the laws of physics and control yourself when you were falling, so you could keep control. Sure, it makes it a lot easier to play, but it kind of takes away from the realism they were trying to recreate by letting you play the TV show. The game would let you skip obstacles for a loss of time with a simple press of the minus button, but the problem is they also used the same button to skip the replays, so often we would accidentally skip obstacles only trying to skip the playback. Now luckily this option can be turned off, so this is at least fixable. You can collect rings to decrease seconds off your time, and in the end the one with the least amount of time in the wipeout zone will go home with the imaginary $50,000. There are four episodes of each season in the single player game, however a lot of the games that you play are really the same thing episode to episode, with only a couple minor tweaks here and there, so there are a very limited amount of games to play, so it will get a bit monotonous after a while. You can play the game in a multiplayer mode as well. However, that consists of throwing balls or snowballs, depending on the version of the game you're playing, at the other player, and waiting for your turn most of the time. Wipeout 2 was alright. The crazy jumping and the terrible camera did take away some of the fun of the game. This wasn't supposed to be some kind of a platformer, but the game definitely plays like it. That being said, you will enjoy the game if you're a fan of the TV series. It controls fairly easily and can be fun in short bursts. I would put this game in the category of just dumb fun. So if you really want to play a rendition of Wipeout for your Wii, I think you should only give it a rent.